Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Before we jump straight into the fight, uh, I wanted to talk about a couple of things that might be helpful. First of all, about the abilities that this boss has. And second of all, I really recommend this if you are a new player or if for some reason you don't have it so far. Uh, go and just download this deadly boss modes add-on. It's like really really helpful when it comes to raiding or dungeon runs. It will tell you when to move away from the group or when you are affected by something and so on. So let's just uh, jump straight to the abilities here. So ear splitting shriek, first uh, first ability that is shown here. I think this one is the most important one during the boss fight. So basically if you have these deadly boss modes it will tell you what to do. It will appear uh, on your screen to break line of sight or break LOS. So during the fight there are like four pillars in the room. You need to break the line of sight from the boss, otherwise you get hit like really strong and you might uh, actually die during this one. Uh, the second one is echolocation. So this one uh, is again important, especially because you can kill the rest of your group. Basically what happens, Deadly Boss Mode will tell you when you have it on you. You will have a red arrow above your head and you need to get it out of the raid. I would say like the best way is to put it close to the walls. That way you will have the middle area free to roam for later on. The third one is uh, Echoing Screech or yeah, I think Screech is how you pronounce this thing. So during this thing, the boss will face one direction if the tank, the tank should keep the boss like facing the other way uh, around from the raid. So this one, uh, the boss starts like pushing some circles on the ground. And if you step on one of those circles, you will get um, damaged and you will get a six seconds stun like it's stun or fear whatever then you have wave of blood this thing uh, i mean it's not really dodgeable or anything you just kill through it you just get healed through it then you have blind swipe this will affect melee in general melee dps if you are close to the boss it deals 15,000 physical damage in a cone in front so if it uh, attacks the melee DPS, it will uh, affect everyone around him as well. For this one, uh, we did it, like, I think everyone does it this way now. We keep range DPS stacked with healers and melee DPS close to the boss. And make sure they don't like uh, stay next to the tank or anything, just behind the boss. So, and uh, this one is tank wise if you want to read it you can open this thing this adventure guide you have it right here is shift j in case you are playing tank i'm not playing tank so i'm not gonna talk about that then on phase two when the boss reaches 100 uh, energy it will go into phase two you have again ear splitting shriek you break line of sight you go behind the pillar then you get have a blood shroud so blood shroud is uh, when the boss reaches a hundred blood, he will just jump in the middle of the room, start sucking the blood from the ground, and then he will fade into a shadow, as it says here. So he will become immune to damage, and if you go close to him, like if you go within twelve yards of uh, the boss, you get instantly killed. So you need to keep your distance from him. At the same time, you will have this thing on the ground, uh, this, the echoing screech, right? It will be on the ground, the, the circles will be on the ground, so you need to be careful not to get stunned. You need to just keep the distance from the boss and make sure you don't get stunned by those, because you can uh, just die really easily. And the last thing uh, is echoing sonar, which is basically the echoing screech is exactly the same thing i think the damage is no not even the damage is increased so it's exactly the same thing you get stunned there are the circles the white circles on the ground so make sure you don't 
um, step into those. Now we can just jump and see how the boss fight looks. I hope you enjoy the video and if you do, please drop a like to the video, subscribe and press the bell icon if you enjoyed it or if it's helpful by any chance. And let me know in the comments below if I missed anything. I need to say now that the fight will not be really clean, it's not the perfect fight, nothing like that, we were just trying it. So we were not even in a full group if I remember well. So and I did some mistakes for the sake of showing in the video what everything does.